got the X, I got the X. Maybe you thought you won, but I'm still undefeated. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm XYZ here, and today we are doing a pretty interesting video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about this, and we're just kind of going to run over it. I'm in a call with my boy Hound. He's one of my trade partners. Uh, how are you doing, Hound? Hey, man. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good, yeah. It's been pretty good. So, today, awesome. today we are going to be explaining how the certification glitch works and how to easily fix it. So most of you guys have been asking me like how it works, how to fix it, because you guys have been having the same problem that when you have one certified item, no, most of the time this is only a big deal when it's striker and it's a big difference in value from the uncertified, where striker can add such a large value, it's really risky if there's a cert glitch going on and you just want an easy way to fix it. So right now, Hound has some striker burnt sienna wonderments equipped. Um, and as you see, when we get into a trade, He's going to put them in the trade window, and you're not going to be able to see the certification because he has them equipped. Now, the simple, really easy way to fix it is all you have to do is message the person you're trading with that all they need to do to fix the certification glitch is, one, they need to make sure it's removed from all of their presets, and then all you need to do is both of you need to just uh, go out of the trade after he removes it from his car, both of you just click the exit game button and just reload up Steam right after, and then it'll show. Uh, and then the certification will most likely show you. Now Hound is gonna remove him from his car right now, and we're both gonna reload our game, and we'll see if it fixes the certification glitch. Okay, guys, me and Hound are back in a party, and now we're gonna see if it completely fixed the glitch. Now all we did just a. Uh, Saying it a second time just to make sure you guys heard. All you needed to do is make, make sure it's removed from all your cars. So just remove it from your preset. And then just exit your game. Have both of you exit the game. And as you see when you reload the game back up, it shows the striker right here. Now, as you guys may know, Hound is a TC middleman. And um, he did mention something about verifying the files. I'm going to let him talk about that because he is more of the expert on it. Sure. Um, so whenever you're trying to um, reload the game just so that the certification shows up, especially like if it's like a really expensive um, white wheel, for example, um, a striker white Zamba, um, it's always advised to go to your library, click, double click or right click on um, Rocket League, go to properties, um, select, um, actually, select local files and then click on verify the integrity of the game files it will take a second to do so and um well, once it's done you can just open the game and if you still have the striker white wheels or um any other expensive item that means that they're there and they're real okay yeah and that will 100 percent guarantee that if you are seeing striker or any certification that it is that certification so you guys won't need to be worrying about any scams or anything and you can just trade safe Okay guys, thank you all for watching that video. Make sure to always be safe when you're trading. Make sure to always make sure that it isn't a scam and it's actually the certification. I hope this video helped uh, in you guys solving your own problems. But thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.